Hey, what's up legends? Welcome back to another live stream. My name is Stefan Kunz and I'll be your host today on this live stream. We're going to do uh, the 16 types of one letter. So the letter F is the one that we we're doing today. Last week on Friday, we did the letter E. So if you haven't seen this one, you can actually check it out. It's in the playlist for the live stream. You can also just rewatch the letter A, B, C, D, E, and now we're doing the letter F. 16 styles of one single letter. That's the job today. This is what I'm going to do today in this live stream. And it's a great way to practice your styles, to practice your lettering, and to come up with new ideas, to practice and to try. Trying is really essential in what you do. It's to allow yourself to fail sometimes. And one of the one favorite quote as well that I love is be brave enough to be bold, to, um, to be bad at something new. So be brave enough to be bad at something new. This is so good because you know what? I struggle enough to, to make mistakes. I love to be perfect in the very first try. I love to draw something perfectly, but unless I try to do things that I'm not really comfortable with, I'm not gonna grow. And growing is something that is very important in what we do. So. I'm excited to be here and I'm really excited to see a lot of familiar faces. Um, we see them all the time here in the live stream. So I'm excited that you guys are spending your Friday with me wherever you are right now. So let me know in the live chat right now where you're from and I cannot wait to see that. This live stream as well is sponsored actually by myself and my friend Ian Barnard. We are doing this, well, this is actually the Builder Bundle, the Letter and Grid Builder Bundle. This is what is sponsoring this video today. And I'm really excited. So Letter and Grid Builder are the tools that I use most in everything that I do. They're great to draw letters, to create compositions and all that. We're gonna use that actually today. We're gonna use the Letter Builder in those 16 styles. You don't have to, but you can actually get the free uh, sheet that we've made for you guys to help you along. So you can print it out on paper. You can use your pencil, anything that draws and use that on there. You don't have to use anything if you don't want to, but it's actually in the description below so you can get it right now you can go out print it and get started and also for the very next streams we're going to do with the 16 types of one letter that's where we're going to use this one I'm gonna use it on the iPad device the product is made for iPad but it works for Photoshop it works for Illustrator, it works for affinity it works for so many popular drawing apps so it's really awesome and I can see everyone there here we got people from Brazil India Philippines uh, Romania, Minnesota, Romania again. Uh, I see Spain, Switzerland, India, Germany, Brazil. Wow, so many amazing places that I would love to be in right now, but we're here at home, staying at home, staying safe, and hopefully, I hope that you guys are all doing well, and uh, it's time to get creative, to do something awesome, and I can't wait to do this with you. So guys, I hope that you are prepared, that you came prepared to the live stream and uh, that you are fresh and ready to start. So let's look at what we did last week on the 16 types of E, and then we're jumping right in to the new challenge, to the new letter, letter F. So here it is, top-down view. I'm just gonna zoom in. There we go, 16 of one letter challenge, 16 types of one letter challenge. So here we go. This is the sheet that you can get for free. You can use the link in the description. It will lead you to Ian Barnard's website and he has those free sheets. He explains it really well, how you can use it. it has a full explanation video as well with it. And uh, this is what we did last week. So we did the letter E in 16 different variations. We had the rulers. That was an idea that you guys came up with. We had some amazing tablets and 3D styles, some, some really liquid form styles of E. And I cannot wait to get started with the letter F. So without really talking about it too much, I just want to jump into it. Just for the time, it's gonna take at least I think at least an hour. Um, maybe we're gonna be faster, but in order to save us a little bit of time, I actually prepared something to, today, just this uh, around lunch. I was going to a friend's uh, place for, for lunch and um, we stayed 
two meters apart, just to be safe. And uh, also here we go, we have all these different styles of letters. I came up, like I looked up through my inspiration sheets and I got this one that is really cool, the flowers one. I cannot wait for this one. The the Shrek flubber kind of monster-ish looking style ribbons and all these cursive styles. So I cannot wait to get started and let's do this. Um, here, my camera is shaking a little bit. I hope that you guys are not too distracted by that, but let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna use the iPad, but again, you can use any tool at your disposal that will work well with this. Um, the iPad just allows me to work a little bit faster digitally as well and to use that. But pen and paper is perfectly fine, guys. Do not worry about tools or essentials that you can come up with. So the very first one, again, I'm just gonna start easy. This is here, the letter F, and I'm just gonna try to follow those lines as close as I can, just like this. And, you know, if I'm not happy with that, I can just not do that, but I'm just gonna show you what I would do in this case, kind of like dragging this a little bit down because I like to have a low crossbar on any type of letters. And so this is already one transformation that will change it from a normal F to a little bit more specialized F. Um, what I could also do is kind of add some, some small serifs, just point out those corners and when you point out those corners, like you could, you could really do it like this, but there is a reason and a way to do it. And usually is to do it the way serifs are meant to be on here. So I'm just gonna point out these, how serifs would be, like serifs would usually be a lot longer, depending on the size, of course, as well as you want them to. And, and then I'm just gonna fill it out, but I'm not gonna fill it out completely. I'm actually just gonna do it half, or actually I might do it completely because I feel like I started the E exactly in the same way and I don't wanna just copy and do the same styles of E but with an F. I wanna be creative. I wanna try out new styles and try out new techniques. So I know that from the last stream, a lot of you guys watched the stream and copied the exact same styles of E that I did. Um, and that's totally fine, you can do that. Um, I would totally suggest you to actually go the extra mile to spend a lot more time with uh, drawing out, trying out new things. Like I'm going here on intuition where I'm trying out to see what happens if I do this kind of this gloss line, this highlight line over here, not draw it out completely. And I learn the most, really, I learn the most. I don't feel like if you are copying the thing, you are learning something, but you could be learning so much more if you tried out one of your own. I'm not trying to diss you or not trying to tell you what you should do. I'm just trying to give you some hints, some tips, how you can improve yourself a lot better, a lot faster. Um, because I'm not mad in any single way if you guys are doing the exact same thing. I feel honored to be, to be honest. Um, I'm just trying to help you the pretty much the best way that I possibly can. So here we are, first F. I kind of like this here. Since we have like a highlight, I, I feel like it's okay to add a shadow line and we can kind of like fade it out maybe, who knows? Not sure if that is the best way to go, but it kind of works. Now also the idea here in this exercise is not to make it perfect. Um, these letters are made, are meant to help you practice styles. So if you see something that you really like, try to reinterpret it and figure out how you can make it work in this style. So here I'm not happy with this little gap in between. I actually enjoy how this fits together. Just like that, this is coming along and maybe I'm just gonna add some some gloss and sh highlights here. And this is an exercise that I love to do in my workshops. I actually host them here. And so this is letter number one. 
Took us like a couple of minutes, pretty awesome. And uh, ready for the letter number two. So here we go. Regular F, just a crossbar, lower it a little bit down, adding some highlight lines into the letter, and then finally adding some shadow, drop shadows, kind of with a fade, just to leave it out. Fade it out in some way. Okay, so letter number two. Um, so this one is actually, I took it from the Fender logo. So if, you, if you're a musician, you probably recognize this logo, and I'm probably not gonna give it actually that good justice, but I like this logo. And I'm just gonna transform it a tiny little bit to my likings. And so it kind of looks like a seven already. And what it needs is to have the right, the right elements to make it look like an F. So if you, if you leave it like that, that's probably just gonna look like maybe a T, script T, or a seven again. Um, so trying to make sure that it doesn't look like a seven or a T, but it looks like an F. And for that, um, adding here this, this crossbar, and then maybe sometimes this will help, although this doesn't really help. So I'm just gonna add here some elements to make sure that it looks a lot more like a T, like a script T. Hmm, maybe the other way around. So, kind of like that. Maybe the same thing over here at the top. It's kind of looking like shadows going out. Not excited, really excited about this letter. But you know what, we still have 14 more to go, so dwelling on one single one is not necessarily the best idea, so I'm trying to, to just improve a tiny little bit of it and go as far as I possibly can just to, just to get it where I'm comfortable leaving it with. So Dwani is asking, where do I conduct workshops? Well, at the moment, we're out of luck because we're not doing any workshops, but I hear rumors that there is an online workshop coming out, but psh, nobody knows about it. But there might be, there could be, eventually will be an online workshop that will come out for everyone, everywhere around the world. Uh, what brushes am I using is Melinda. Melinda is asking what brushes am I using? I'm using the Stefan Kunz pencil. So you get that one for free when you sign up for my newsletter. Uh, the newsletter is just stefankunz.com slash news. And you get that one for free. When you sign up, you get a link uh, where you can download all the free stuff. So it doesn't come just with this one. It comes also with the Stefan Kunz sketch brush. Steph's sketch brush that's over here. Those are my two very favorite brushes and I really love them. So kind of kind of is a good deal to sign up to the newsletter plus you get notified for all potential news that could come out of I don't know potentially an online course who knows all right so next up we got a the letter still still the same letter um, but I'm trying to think how did I concept this so this is more gothic style letter There's something that I want to do, which I, I think I saw that somewhere. Just don't know exactly what it was. I feel like it was something like that. So you could raise that probably and move that around, but no, that's not really it. So 
So the cool thing about Gothic letters is really how you hold your nib. So you got a straight nib like this that you will drag along and you will create these shapes. And so it always will stay the same distance everywhere you go and the further back you go, the more it will go, go behind. And so that's kind of what you have to think when you see those letters is to think what type of nib was used in this particular drawing style. And they will probably often use the same angle everywhere they, they point to. And so this is why you kind of try to stick with that angle here. So that's the, I don't know if it's a 45 degree angle, kind of looks like it. Actually, I'm just using a 45 degree angle. Doesn't mean that it's the correct way. What else? I'm, I'm just thinking that there might be a cooler way to do this one. But what I can also do is to actually just give a fade inside of the letter. Kind of like that. So I know that this is pretty much impossible to do if you're using pen and paper, but try to come up with a creative way how you could do that. Like there's a way you could actually just start out drawing the outline. I'm just doing it backwards. And so there are ways you could do that. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm, uh, I'm improvising. Okay, this is weird. I should stop while I'm, I'm ahead and not trying out to go crazy here, but I am. And this is a good thing. It's a good thing to be crazy. Use an eraser to erase those parts. Yes, Kiara, that is also a very great idea. Just using an eraser is really easy. Okay, let's do a cool, like one of my favorite styles right now with uh, serifs is kind of like a playful serif. So it's, it's rounded everywhere. Maybe not as rounded. Kind of like this. And then I could maybe eventually add a inline just to add something special to it. But ah, you know what? Just like it as is. Some sparkles. Nope. Too much. Yeah, just leave it as is. Simple. First line, simple. Don't do overdoing it. Nothing special around here and uh, just doing something easy. Carolina Yanko is asking if I use the button on the Apple Pencil to switch between brush and pen eraser. I do not. I could, but I've actually deactivated this function because it's actually annoying to switch while you're drawing and then just pop out something. 
I like the idea, but it's also not at the greatest place because you add pressure when you're drawing. And so releasing that pressure actually takes off so much energy from your, uh, from your index finger, finger and just releasing that is kind of like actually hard. So kind of like easier to have another button somewhere where you can press and go around. But hey, this is it. Okay, first line done. We got four down. Now we go to the next four. And the next four will be a little bit more challenging. Again, we're trying to come up with new styles. Thankfully, I've done my sketch work beforehand. So I have something to, to keep me going just because it's a live stream. If I do it normally, I would not come up with sketches before. And uh, that's also just a great way to practice. I got my coffee here, so cheers. Uh, coffee is the best thing, really. All right, so letter F still. And um, what can we do? I want to do a script F. So I'm just gonna use my sketches here. And I'm gonna look at one of the F's that I had in mind. So this is kind of like, starts off wonky here. So I'm just gonna draw the lines that I want. And then I'll try to connect these. So this is how it should connect. And then we have the, the one that goes on top of it. This will go around here. So again, it's pretty clear in my head how this is supposed to look, which is really helpful. And then we have that line in the back. So let's have a look. Complete overview. So here it's connecting in the back and we'll connect through the front again. And so it's a one line that will go through here and go back. So it's actually a doable letter. And now we're just gonna add some shadows again to make it more realistic here, especially on those cross. I'm gonna darken here these parts and then just maybe tile a bit, bring some highlights here not to make it too dark and also that you can see the shadow line back here which is also really cool but you can totally improve on this which is also fun and if you want to learn more about ribbon style lettering check out my youtube live stream on that one Boom, that looks like something special. Nice. All right, so next up, we're doing a um, embossed styled F, but a special one. What style is this? Yeah, that's a ribbon. Alberto is asking, what style is this? This is ribbon styled F. And now we're doing more of an embossed styled F here. Kind of slap serif. I'm gonna actually make it really thick.
So now I'm drawing an inline here because it's not going to be a fully embossed letter, it's just going to be a slightly uh, raised up inside letter. And so the outline here is, will be just tiny little bits shaded, shadowed, shadowed, shaded. I think shaded is the right word for this. So again, when it comes to embossed letters, you gotta choose your sides. Which sides do you wanna color in? Which one do you wanna leave blank? And so for me, I'm choosing the right side and the lower parts to color in, to darken. And the rest will stay clear. So the only one side that I need to here do is this here. And I think I have them all. And now what I could still do is kind of color in some parts here. Although maybe, yeah, it does make sense. You know, when I say it makes sense, it makes sense to me. Not sure if it always, if my logic will always work with everyone else's logic. But that one looks really cool. Maybe just this tiny little bit. So here's a great thing that you can do on Procreate, Photoshop, or any other tool is liquefy, and then you can just drag out this one here, and then kind of squish this back in just to match those two sides. Easy trick, easily done, but that's how we can do this. Simply, without big troubles, and just having fun. Okay, this is letter number six, only 10 to go. Only 10. So uh, I see Mihun Kim just joining in from Korea. We got someone now from Korea. How amazing is that? Do you have a video on the use of those guidelines? Well, we do have a whole ABC lettering video where you can actually watch the whole thing. So on uh, my playlist, you'll find a video with a letter ABC, and then uh, that's where we go through every single letter of the alphabet with those grids where you can watch the whole thing. Okay, so letter number, the next one, I feel like we're doing something more, um, kind of like the slime thing that it just goes down. Can you do a black letter F? So I feel like this one is kind of black letter. It's a specific Gothic style, but we can definitely try another one uh, in a moment. Thank you, David, for those details. And hello to Argentina. Hey, welcome to the stream. So now I said a slimy F. So this is this is the normal F, and now we're gonna turn this into a slime. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm gonna cut this out, and this can use uh, three fingers down. Maybe I have to do. Why is everything there? So if you are not familiar with. Procreate, Procreate shortcuts, you can actually use three fingers down, slide it down, and then you'll get like the fast menu. I do not know why it's down here, which is why if you press on a button, you can actually switch them out to whatever you want, and then you can cut it out, and then again, paste, like that, boom. So now it's on a different layer, so I don't have to worry about it. And I can now just start drawing my slimy, slimy F and what we do for here is just to play around with the 
the lines, kind of make them round, and just have something that looks kind of like The Simpsons, like something exploded. And honestly, I don't know much enough about The Simpsons to be talking about them, but you know, there's always something that re will remind you of it. And if you can use those memories to draw it and, and just get as close as possible, you don't even have to know them perfectly. Um, it's already super helpful because your imagination will be used and will try to connect the dots and then kind of like come back up with these ideas and start them again. So, funny story actually, this is how I learned English is I watched the whole seasons of Friends all 10 seasons in German and then rewatch them in English, which makes me watch a lot of TV actually. But um, every time I was looking for an English word at some point, I was actually thinking of what would they have said in the show at some point. And hopefully that would have helped me. So here we go. Letter F, kind of like a flubber, disgusting thing dripping down, maybe like a melted ice cream perhaps. Um, of course you could color that in, you could add like a funky color in the background. So if I would say, for example, here, I would take a nice pinkish color and would color that in, that could kind of look really dope. But we're not gonna do this. We're actually just gonna hide that and we're gonna stay, stick to black and white and make it easy. Okay, next up, um, I'm just gonna probably move it a little bit to the middle. And maybe I'll have to move some of them around just to make it fit. I can also, actually I could also just make it longer. Just like that. So now we've prolonged it. It looks, it fits just a tiny little bit better inside here. And we can just add some, some drips all around just to make the whole letter full. All right, balloon-like. Okay, balloon-like F, I like the idea. So balloon-like, I'm usually keep it round because it's inflated. The helium will go to the top like that and then here the crossbar will just be a tiny little bit smaller and then so that is one style of balloon but there's also the other style of balloon that we've done a few times that almost looks like a boxing glove if you ask me um, just needs kind of like more of this turned in and then the whole thing out here kind of like that and then just more around it and you got a boxing glove like that But what we can do, actually, I just had another idea is the, you know those balloons that you will find um, that are filled with helium, that are just more, more round. Honestly, for that, I actually need more of a, of another letter to do that, because just from memory, I don't have enough information. So that's always something that can happen. The idea is to go as far as possible you can, not to rely too much on other information. But then here is where like all these creases would go in, something like that. At least that's how I feel like it is. And that's kind of where the balloon would end it's kind of like all wrapped in foil and so it would have kind of these these crazy um, shadows reflection on it as well and so here there would be a lot of these creases as well inside and man do I have trouble right now coming up seeing how this actually would 
look. So it's still trying to do that from memory. At some point you can definitely go check out a, uh, how this would look, but I'm trying to go as far as I can. So here, I want to color in all these lower parts. And so whenever you feel like, oh, you know what? I, I do not know how this actually looks or how I should do this. Just try to work on things that you're not happy with. So right now, kind of like, uh, this, it's not looking right. But as soon as I now start to add more of some highlights, like here, here are some creases. It's, it's starting to look a lot better as we move on, which is really the cool part. Kinda does look like it. So the cool thing is, Ian Barnard has actually done a tutorial on this. So this is one of his, I feel like, specialities where he's really good at it. Um, he's good at so many things. And here is just probably one that he really has mastered over the time. Um, see here, kinda needs that. Across here, here too, and yeah, just maybe some some highlights, maybe some more creases over here, and then playing around with shadows as well because even in the creases there are some shadows. But at some point you gotta leave it. And you also just might check out another one. So an F with a flame. So yeah, this is actually an idea that I had to. Unfortunately, I kind of didn't figure out how to do with a flame, but let's try it out. Let's, uh, so a flame. Again, kind of like the F over here has this flame style. And I'm trying to, to see how we can So I'm probably just thinking too stylized right now. So another one would just be, I know that my friend Tirsa, Alex is actually is his real name. He did a F with a flame and he kind of used this style here. So I'm not inventing anything new. So here cut, put this on a new layer paste. So this kind of just gives me the, the structure of the letter that I want. And then uh, we'll go back on this layer. And so here is my attempt from what I remember that Tirsa did. Maybe like this. Now, I'm not sure if I should fill this in or if I just leave it blank. Maybe add some more flames inside. Kind of like the uh, ice cream here.
But see, this is the great thing about this exercise is really to play around with the, the letter as well. So like flame starts with F, so play around with these elements. Like what else starts with F? Flowers starts with F. So I'm gonna do a flower one next, trying to see if I can, if something cool springs to mind. I do have one that is a floral piece, so I'm gonna try to do that one. But when it comes to flowers, like you could really go all, all nuts because flowers are super detailed. And so we don't need to do it detailed in this exercise here. It's more about playing with ideas. And the more ideas you have and come up with, the more, the more inspiration you'll have for another piece that you'll create. Like you can go back over these exercises and see, whoa, this F, like the flame F, that was so cool. I wanna do that again. And you can play around with that too. Yes, so Diviana, we're doing a floral F. So again, just gonna go back to this layer here. So this is gonna be my F that I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna be a little bit free with those lines. And now I can go back. And so there are two types of floors. There's the floral where you draw just leaves. So this is one of the things that I did with the hope piece. Now I really don't know why this camera is shaking so much. My whole table is shaking because it's probably not anymore against the wall. Um, <laughs> yes, Diviana, we just had a mind connect, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's jump back in and let's see how we can connect these two. So let's jump, let's jump right in and let's see. So here, I'm just gonna draw a line and then another line here. And this is how I can connect now all these elements. So here is, I can draw one leaf. And the goal is to fill out the space as much as I can. And one thing that you can also do when you're doing these floor pieces is always to have one petal or something that will just grow out of it, just to break off those strong, strict lines, kind of like this. And the other one, like keep them pretty much closed in, but yeah, don't be too strict about it because those will actually look great. Because it's kind of floral, like the idea is that it grows out a little bit and doesn't just always follow those lines perfectly. Just like that. 
and then just adding some petals that are outside floating around. So this is one way. You can also add some these inlines, just erase them. Better is yet to plan them ahead. And you can also, you don't have to have to do this on every single one of the leaves, but you can just do uncouple them and that will look really amazing too. Make it stand out. Some you just do it partially like that. But yeah, basically this is it. Unfortunately, fires and floral don't actually match that well. So you should be careful about it. So watch out. Um, the other floral type that you could also do is again, going with the same principle. So going back to the other one, we're just gonna do my basic shape. Actually, I'm gonna change the shape to more stronger contrast style letter. Kind of like this. And now I can go back and for example, start like I'm terrible with flowers. I don't know actually why I started this, but just saying that you're terrible doesn't mean that you should not try it. And usually people will stop there and will say like, ah, oh, you know what? I'm terrible at it. I'm just not going to try. So I would absolutely recommend like just try like even if you're not the flower drawing type like you can always try out different styles and I'm just going to draw a couple of flowers in here like I don't know a rose whatever this should be and then some petals And then maybe here some other styles. And you know what? There's uh, actually a a um, Skillshare class from Gemma O'Brien where she teaches exactly that, how to do these floral pattern letter styles and really beautiful pieces. So here I'm just adding some some more organic forms and trying to fill out the rest of the letter. Kind of like that, but from afar it looks like if you go inside really deep, you see that it's not actually ideal, but it kind of looks pretty cool to me. Um, so not bad. And always try to keep it flowing, kind of interactive. So yeah, definitely a lot of playroom here to do that with. So I want to go back to some, some script style devs because I love scripts. And especially when it comes to the letter F. So one of my favorite letter F's is kind of like, um, I think it's more of a flat F like this and then
All right, so now let's do a, a inline through the whole letter. Interestingly, emboss styled F. All right, we're down to the last four Fs. And uh, Klima is thinking that it looks kind of like the same F as before. Yes, it kind of does as the second F here, but it does have some different styles as well. Um, and we can still make it a lot different. And we're gonna do another one. Hey, so guys, you can help me out with the likes on this video and just by taking a short moment just to go and click on the like button beneath the video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, um, which is very much possible, and uh, it would help me out a lot if you click the like and the subscribe button. Turn on the post notification bell if you wanna know when the next live stream is coming up so you don't miss it and that you can always see when the next one is coming. Also, I'm gonna be streaming live on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, uh, very normal as uh, on a regular basis. And I'm gonna try out doing new styles, new ideas, new content. So if you wanna see something special, just use the comment section, not just the live chat because the live chat will be gone after that, but use the comment section to type in what you would be interested in and uh, what you want to see me do next. So again, thank you guys so much for taking the time to hit the like button. Thank you also for subscribing to this channel to also be notified. And again, I wanted just to say thank you here for, um, yeah, well, our sponsor, who is one of our products, Builder Bundle, the letter and grid builder, the tools that help you to draw letters with ease. It almost feels like cheating and creating great composition with ease also as well. Feels like just doing playing Tetris in some sort. So these are the tools that will help you create even more. You can use them on Photoshop, Illustrator, Procreate like I'm doing right now. Um, they come with brushes, you can even print them out. You can use them in so many different ways and I am always excited to see what you guys create, how you use it and what you guys make out of it. So again, thank you guys so much for liking and uh, let's keep on going. All right, let's see. We got already 53 likes, this is amazing. Okay, last four Fs. Again, I wanna play around with one script styled F that we haven't tried yet. And this one is a little bit rounder.
So just like that, the bow around here. And one of the things that I love to do with script style is to add the contrast, the weight of those letters where they don't belong, meaning I love to add it at the top and at the bottom and then just like that here. There's so many things I actually love to do. You just don't know it. For example, I started playing puzzles in this time, in this lockdown time, quarantine time, because I wanted to see kind of what the fuss is about. I haven't done puzzles in a very long time. Started my second puzzle, and I, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, you can see that there on my stories. I don't know guys, do you guys like puzzles? We could do a puzzle life because I've been playing around with puzzles. This is a weird tick of mine is to kind of like look at from all angles around just to see if it's all correct. <laughs> I should try gradient puzzles. I'm, I would die probably if I tried a gradient puzzles. Gradient puzzles are crazy. Oh, really? Thank you, Ayat, for the, for the two pounds that you're giving. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. Felt like buying you a cup of coffee. That is so kind. I, I'm having a coffee in your honor right now. So I'm gonna enjoy this drink and the sip. That one is from you. Okay, so we got three more Fs to do here, but it's looking good. Look at that. We got a flame, we got some petals, we got uh, some floral, we got a script style here, we got some, some other parts here. So really amazing styles that we get to play around. We got some ribbon again because, you know, I just love ribbons. We've got a very simple one over here and we're down to the last three. And uh, I don't know where to start. I'm actually gonna, gonna use this here. So again, just kind of like the tracing paper. And then uh, what if we did like a so Ben Johnson, he's a great typographer, designer. And one of the things that he does is crazy. It's those bended letters that are just pretty awesome to look at. So over here, this is the F. Trying to keep that bend correct. And then let's try to add some shadows. So we'll actually we'll move the whole letter a little bit to the corner like this. And then we can just grow, go ahead here, draw a line down, connect this here. And so this is where it's getting a little bit tricky where I feel like it's not as simple, but it works still. And 
also just gonna add some more shadow back here because it's right behind the letter. And so less spill light around, maybe some, some here. But see this part here, this is where I feel it's getting really tricky. And maybe, I don't know if I should keep that line in here, but potentially, nah, that's too much. Should be clear, invisible. Maybe I'm just gonna reduce that a little, tiny little bit here, just to make that a little, tiny little bit more strong here. Yeah, kind of like that. You could also just take the whole thing here down a tiny little bit. So if I go to freeform, I can move it down a tiny little bit like that. I actually realized that this camera angle from here, this that you're seeing here, is not probably the best one to do that, but it's Maybe something like that. Nah, I'm just gonna, gonna leave it like that. And then maybe add some, some nice gradient. So this is in memory of the greats. Not that he's dead or anything, I just in memory or in reference to Ben Johnson, amazing work. I think as well, some other artists also do that style, but it's really cool. So here, bend it F, kind of like leaning to a table or to a wall, just like a little bit bent, which is really cool in my mind, in my opinion. All right, so another one, which one I want to try, 3D styled F, we haven't done one of those. So here I'm just gonna use these lines to help me guide me, guide my styles. So now I can also just duplicate this here. But if you don't want to duplicate, and this is kind of what we're going to do, it's just drawing simplified 3D, drawing the same angled lines everywhere around, and then parallel to these lines, you'll actually start drawing. So parallel to these lines, kind of keeping the same distance, that is pretty much the hardest part. But here you could actually just connect like that. Whoops. Colored in the wrong area, which happens sometimes. You can just erase those guidelines here and there, and then maybe just give some color to all that here. Now that would be perfectly fine to stop here and just think like, hey, this is good, this looks good enough. But you know what? There's always something that you can try again, and I just want to lower the inside of the letter, and you'll see what I'll try to do in a second. So here it is, kind of lower down, and then I'll just actually make this here stronger. Same here. So 
So now it looks kind of like it's a little bit hollow inside, not entirely hollow because it kind of would cut in right here. So it still has a base. Um, but what I want to do now is to add some light bulbs. So right here, this is where one would go. Another one here. Keep drawing those circles. Here up here, there would be three. Maybe I have to change this placing of them. And so these will emit some light, which is why I'll erase some around here. here but maybe not too much but kind of like the uh, the light that it's emitting but not maybe it's just a tiny little bit too strong I'm just gonna add some back here and still see the effects but kind of like reduce it a tiny little bit because you still want to have those lines there Something like that. And finally, you could also add some shadows to the whole thing, but I feel like this is going to be a little bit too much. So I'm just gonna take that back. I like that. All right. We're down to the last letter. We've been doing this for an hour now and pretty good guys so far. We're doing great. Seeing here, people are still in the chats, online, live watching. Awesome guys, let's check it out. Can we get the likes up to 100 if you guys would take just one moment to go up with the likes Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already that would help me out a lot on The channel and to see this whole community grow So I also want to say thank you to all my patreons the patreons that are supporting this channel as well in a big way this is incredible guys, so I want to say thank you to so many new subscribers. Let me just check some awesome names who have subscribed recently. We've just passed 100 Patreons and I'm excited to do a, a, a live coaching sessions with my Patreon to, to as well. So currently we got Mark Nicholas who just joined, Sarah Hufnagel, Shirley Ferreira. Um, I'm not sure if I'm saying, pronouncing those names correctly. Uh, we got Lao Hope, uh, Pisces, Pisces Illustrations, Lil Satchel, Anastasia, Rita Bauman, Alejandra, Yurina de Leon, de Lejon, Leon, Joanne Wilson, Corey Blake, so many people that are ex actually helping out with the stream. And um, you can start being a Patreon a supporter with just $1. So again, thank you so much for all of the Patreons who are on here. So let's do the last one. Take a deep breath. Have some coffee just before we pump out the rest of the juice and then get the whole thing out. Also, just want to say I'm super proud of you guys to be so creative with me during this time. You guys are awesome and I cannot wait to see what you guys are creating. Don't forget to use the hashtag draw with Stefan and share what you've been creating. If you've been drawing the same thing, share that with me. I cannot wait to see what we're doing and we're going to take a selfie just at the end of the live stream. So wait for that. Remember me if I if I'm forgetting. And uh, let's see what we can do for the last one. All right, turn my pen back to the right order. Okay. 
Let's see. Do -do -do -do. So what do we got? What do we got? We got F in the shape of ice. Ice cubes, maybe, perhaps? So here is an F in the shape of ice cubes. Or just dices could also be fun. Oh yeah, by the way, we have a fun lettering game ready for you guys that we want to play. So Ian and I have been, been toying with the idea of creating a fun lettering game that you guys together we could play. And so we might do this very, very soon in a live stream coming near you or coming to you. So here the idea is to create cubes that are floating around in all different ways. Kind of like that. And then the goal is to kind of find ways to curl them in, to really make them stick out, which is one of the things that I feel like is probably the hardest part to do because ice, like cold water, frozen water, just has reflection in all different ways. So it's not like a solid structure And it's kind of tricky in that way, but tricky is good because the harder it gets, the more rewarding it will be at the end when you're done, when you've got it. But since it's warm here, I just also want to add some, some melting elements here. Maybe even a water drop so that you can see it's not just dices, but it's also very, it's just ice melting, sweating in the heat of the sun. Relaxed, easy. All right, the last one, the ice cube styled version requested by Kara, who asked me to do this one. Okay guys, let's look over all of them again. So first up, we started off with a simple F, the F 
Cray with the letter builder with the crossbar, just a little bit lowered, adding some highlight lines on top just to show that it's kind of reflecting and some drop shadows because the light is coming from the top left side and so on. Then we did the Fender F. With the Fender F, I mean the logo Fender that looks a tiny little bit like this, not one exact way, but here adding some more, um, some kind of like gloss look to it. And I wasn't really happy with this one for very long, for the very first part. Still not necessarily my favorite, but hey, 16 types of one letter, you got it. There's different ways that you can do it. We got another F here. This is also one that I really like. Uh, not exactly how I want it to be. There's still, like I sketched out here a, um, well, this was one, Gothic F, but almost looks like an E. This one was also one. I like kind of like the top, but I really like this hat here, the, the top part of the F. And then also, which one was it? Um, this one here, this one. You see this bow here, the back that is just arching around. That is also really cool. And Joe Grossi is asking, where can I buy the Grid Builder notebook from Ian Barnard? So there's no notebook currently out. Um, there might be one very soon, who knows? Other rumors, but you can hear about that soon. Um, then we did a, a serif styled F. Again, serif, very rounded, very comic styled F as well. So no straight edges, all rounded, all just a little bit wonky, just to make it stand out. Next up, we have the ribbon styled F. So the ribbon styled F, we we drew out the first parts of the F that we wanted to have, and then we tried to combine it in all different ways and shapes. So here we added some shadows as well, the backside of the ribbon in black, just to make it stand out really well. And I kind of like it, it has some style to it, so it looks really cool. Then we have a embossed F that is also just a little bit raised out from the ground, not entirely to the, to the middle, kind of like this one here. So just a tiny little bit, and we added some some shading, some gradients in here, just to make it really pop and come out and look really, really nice. Then we have the melted ice cream or flubber or whatever kind of monster that you want to think of. This is what it looks like. Again, it would look really, really cool if we color that one in. Uh, added some, some colors in there just to make it look like maybe strawberry ice cream, who knows. Then a balloon F that kind of didn't really turn out the way I hoped it would, but again, a lot of creases, kind of that balloon you would get in a fair uh, with helium filled in and kind of like this silver look to it uh, or gold or anything like that, like metallic. Then the flame F, uh, again, kind of like inspired by Tirsa's um, fire F. He did a, a lot better job than I did. I kind of like played around with those flame shapes um, not necessarily my favorite either, but it's also, it's, it's trial and error guys, it's always trying to do all these different things. And um, we got Vidi asking, where can I buy the bundle from? So you got the link below where you can go to my shop directly. You can find the builder bundle right there and you can get it and get the letter builder that we're using in here and also the grid builder to create amazing compositions, kind of like playing Tetris, creating things with ease. Then we have the pedals here, the floral pedal F, that it was all built around this um, little middle line guideline where all those pedals are attached to. And then trying also just to get out of the shape just a tiny little bit sometimes, maybe even sometimes really strongly just to break off that shape so it's not just rigid but it's really more organic. And then this floral styled F that was also inspired by Gemma O'Brien who has a whole class on Skillshare about how to do these styles. Then we got one of my favorite Fs kind of one that I would use pretty much often, except maybe not the embossing, but this one is really fun to do, kind of like the nice shape that goes around, struck there, and then a um, serif on, on the uh, crossbar here. Then we have another script style that is kind of like all combined, goes in, flows around. I didn't initially think of that, but kind of like combine it in the end. And also one of my favorite things to do is to add the weight, the contrast of the letter, not just on the sides, but at the bottom and the tops. Then here inspired by uh, Ben Johnson, who has like these nice uh, nice letters that are just falling around and I'm just gonna maybe stretch it a tiny little bit. That's okay. Um, with a shadow just dropping down, kind of looks like a letter that would like lean onto a wall and kind of hang in there, like not a solid letter that would just like 
start to, to bend a tiny little bit. Then we have a 3D lettered F with the lights, bulbs inside. So it kind of looks like a, a letter you would see outside on a sign, really cool too. And finally, the request by Kara who added, uh, asked me to draw some ice cubes or ice. And I did like a whole F out of ice cubes, so, which I find funny too. Um, really fun, 16 different styles of one letter. You see there's so much creativity that can go into that. There's all sorts of things that you can do. So thank you guys. This is really awesome. Let's do a selfie together. If you can, um, let's get the phone ready. I'm doing the big selfie smile on three guys. Are you guys ready to do a selfie? And then uh, we can draw, show our work as well. I'm gonna grab that iPad here. I'm gonna hold that into the screen and then we're gonna take a class selfie with everyone in here. And you guys can tag me on your Instagram, show me what you've done and let me hold this iPad like this and go in here and how close can I hold it? Like that, like that, like that. All right, awesome. Hope you guys either pause the video there or you can pause it later and take a selfie with me. I'm really excited for you guys to be here. Um, cannot wait to see all of your creations, all of your Fs that you have created. We're gonna do the next letter soon, the letter G. And I wanna keep that series continuing, do that style. And again, don't forget, you can get the Builder Bundle on my website. So shop link is in the description below. You can go to stefankunz.com slash shop. Whoa, air, throw, air bubbles. Um, you can go to <laughs> stefankunz.com slash shop and find the builder bundle there. You can find a lot of iPad brushes or tools that you can use for yourself, composition grids, um, like pre-composed grids that you don't even have to think about anymore. You can just get them there and you feel like you have everything you need. So I cannot wait for Monday when we're going to be back with another live stream. So invite your friends, let's get started, let's get drawing. And if you are joining us there, I'm excited to see you there and I wish you a very, very pleasant weekend. Cannot wait to see you and uh, on Monday again, back after the weekend. So get some rest, get stay creative and we'll see you soon. All right, bye guys.